Hey everyone, this is Joseph with JN Unique Designs. Uh, I know I'm very early, so uh, give me a second here. It's been a little while since I've done a live, so I want it to be early just to make sure everything works, especially with the fact that I got a new phone. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I'm looking down because I'm trying to find where my live is. Hello everyone, hello, hello. Welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs live today. Sorry, I'm looking down because I'm trying to figure out where my video is. It's been a while since I've been back with you, so I'm very happy to be here with you today. Um, let's see here. How do I do this? Ah, getting comments. There we go. I think we're good. I think I can see you, and you can see me, and... The comments are here. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Natasha. Hello, Sylvia. Uh, let's see. Hello, Kristen. Hello, Sandra. Hello, just giving me a few moments here to get ready. Hi, Yona and Tov Nielsen. Hi, Sue. Hi, everyone. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been with you, so um, thank you for tuning in with me today. There's a slight change of plans, and I'm going to wait for a few moments here, and then I'll do a couple of announcements for you. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. I did get a new phone, and so hopefully things are going to work out well. And uh, I don't have one of those fancy setups yet, but I'm working on trying to get one. So um, it's been a while. Thank you for joining me today. Hello, hello. Hi, Linda. Let's see here. What time is it? Anyway, let's see here. I think it's uh, good to go. It is right, 12 o'clock. All righty. So, uh, welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs Facebook Live for Monday, September 26th. I'm very happy to be with you today. Um, I know that you're expecting Esther to be with you today, but uh, there is a slight change in plans. Esther will be with you on Wednesday um, this week to release the new collection. There is a new collection that is coming out, and uh, Esther will be showing you all live what that new uh, collection is all about on Wednesday. So there was a slight switch in scheduling and um, I'm here with you. It's been a while since I've been back. So yes, exciting day for Wednesday uh, is the uh, release of a new collection from Elizabeth Craft Designs and Esther will be with you. Uh, and um, I uh, had to make that announcement. And then um, today's winner for Elizabeth Craft Designs is Raquel Gonza. Raquel Gonza. Um, if you email info at ecraftdesigns.com, you can claim your prize there. Um, so I'm very happy that you are with me today. I'm very happy that everybody is here joining me. Sorry, I'm having a tiny little bit of difficulties here. There we go. I think I fixed everything. All right. Uh, let's see. If you haven't already, I do have a um, YouTube page. Please like and subscribe to that YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel, and my Facebook page for fun videos. Today, um, I'm going to place with some tools and some Halloween stuff and some planner essentials, so I'm looking forward to having you. So let me uh, put the camera in its dock here. Pardon me for a second. Let me see what I can do about getting this right. There we go. I think you can see everything now. My big mess of a desk. So. Let's see if this is. Let me move that so it's better for you. I'm we're still trying to redesign my desk here. So pardon me for a bit. I don't want to make you sick. There we go. Hello, hello. I think everybody can still hear me and everybody can still see me. Um, JN Unique Designs on 
my uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't ch uh, subscribed and liked my video on J and Unique Designs, please do so. Just because I do have some fun videos there and some projects that uh, will be great to have you. And again, Raquel Gonza is the winner for today's um, comment, like, and share. And uh, if you email info at ecraftdesigns.com, you can claim your prize there. And for those who haven't already, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Like, uh, subscribe, channel, and share. And uh, put in the comments that you've uh, done so for your chance to win um, some fabulous prizes. A uh, $50 gift card to Elizabeth Craft Designs. What is even better? So... What is going on here? My camera is not liking me, apparently. So, it's given me an error, and I don't know what that error is. So I apologize while I try to figure out what... Let's see what's going on. All right, can everybody hear me okay still? Your voice is a bit in the background. Is that better? I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> my desk is my desk is a mess right now. Actually, um, you you haven't seen what kind of a mess I have on this desk. <laughs> um, I've been playing with so many different things, and uh, today it, it's not another exception. So I want to start off with um, just telling you that whatever tools you have in your stash, it is always a great um, thing to use them. I always like to share. Yes, so just turn up the volume. I can't hear sound that was away from the microphone. Debbie, are you having issues hearing me now? Is that... Uh, sound is fine, okay. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to move forward. Um, I uh, was talking to Els about using tools that you have in your craft room. And some of those tools that I have include very far away. Okay. Um, is, uh, is an airbrush gun. And I've been wanting to use this airbrush gun uh, for a lot of old projects I used to do, such as uh, different types of crafting and everything like that. But uh, since I started using this aircraft airbrush gun in um, my Elizabeth Craft Designs crafting, it has made my life so much easier. So I wanted to share with you, this is um, a airbrush gun that I got uh, a long time ago, but please check with your local stores uh, because your local stores may have them already. And um, you can use this tool, you can use anything that you have. Um, and uh, I, uh, I'm using this one and I'm using, there's, there's two ways to use this one. Uh, and you can either connect the airbrush gun directly to the canister itself, which is nice and bulky, or because of the fact that I'm gonna be doing the live today with this airbrush gun, I decided I'm gonna use the hose, the air hose, because that way I can put my compressor down below and it doesn't uh, get into the way of the, the um, sound of the machine or the camera. And it sounds like there's something wrong with the microphone, but um, that's, that's what we'll be using today. And it's actually a fabulous idea. So I can place my air gun down, my air container down below uh, check with your local stores. They have some of those already in stock. And uh, because they have those already, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I have done mass coloring. If you haven't seen me on Facebook the last few days, uh, I've shown... I'm going to move that box real quick. I've shown you I've made tons of leaves. I've made tons of leaves. I've made tons of florals. I've made tons of different things that I've colored all with the airbrush gun. You know, I'm just throwing things out there right now just so you can see what the airbrush gun can do. I have a lot of pictures posted on Elizabeth Craft Designs to show all the things that I've made, but that's not, uh, that's just because coloring was just so easy and so much fun. I mean, you can do, um, use the brush like you normally would. And uh, that's, that's, I'm not saying that you can't use the brush. I'm saying that you can use the brush and you can, with an airbrush gun, you can use any type of ink. Like today, I'm using uh, inkjet refill. 
you know, something that I've had for just sitting around the room I was going to throw in the trash and I thought I'd try it and it worked out well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I want to show you, I'm going to show you how much fun it is. So with this project that we're going to be doing today, I'm going to take my airbrush gun and I'm going to open up the lid here. Just a simple lid container and uh, I'm just going to get some ink. This is just, again, just a simple black ink. Put a little bit of ink in there not too much because i don't think i need that much today and uh i'll close that up i want to close the lid on my gun here and then what i had already previously done was i had die cut this die set um where did i put it aha this is from elizabeth craft designs it, spider web from the slimline background number 1910 and what I had did, did was I had already die cut this and I already placed Elizabeth Craft Designs um, double sided adhesive on the back side of it by putting the, the adhesive on the back and die cut through it it saves you so much time when you're putting it on a card so as you can see I've already peeled out all the negatives and I left all the pieces which it doesn't have an issue so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place that in my splatter box here. I'm gonna take my airbrush gun and I'm gonna test the air. This is a t and I'm just gonna go like that. All I'm doing is as you can see I'm coloring on there. And if you want something darker, you can go back and forth and you can go different directions, different angles. And there's that. I just that's how simple that was. And look how fast that coloring was. Now I'm all done. The coloring of that web is done. You can see that? Look how cool that is. I'm going to set that aside to dry. Um, just because... Where did I do with that? I don't know what I do with it, so I'm going to ignore it. Um, just because for time's sake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to spray some more spider webs. This is from the planner page. Uh... This page, uh, this spider web that I'm coloring now is from 1903 Planner Essentials Halloween Set 3. And this is also from Esther uh, released. And so you see, I'm just coloring that just like that. And there we go. And I think what I ended up doing was I didn't put enough ink in there. So my machine tells me when you're not enough ink in there and uh, I'll just add a little bit more ink to the reservoir. There we go. And I didn't add very much. You could use alcohol ink. You can use glitter. You can use anything that you want. And so you can use, you know, you can use um, any type of liquid based ink on there and nothing will affect it. I'll put that aside. Take that out. Place that aside. I take some more pieces that I've already pieces that I've already die cut here. A witch, a couple of witches, and a crow. You know, I'm just gonna spray that a little bit. Give it, you can see how fast and easy that was. I want it that, that way. It's just as a background. I'm gonna take my uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs tweezers just so, and reach in there and pull that out a lot easier. Just as such. And then what else am I going to color here? I need to color a few more things before we're done. Um, the paneling. So here's another. Hi, Els. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Uh, this is just a six by six paneling of Elizabeth Craft Design soft finish cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the brush going and I'm just going to go around like this. Just a little bit just to color it in lightly give it a little bit of a splat and every so often i will get a, sh a color and a shape just like that and now i have that's ready to go for a project i'm gonna get some of these other panels but i'm gonna do this also just to get rid of the white a little bit just for halloween purposes so i'm gonna do back in front give it a, a little bit of coloring So, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, 
it's been a fun day for me trying to get this ready. Could be fun. You're right. Femka is right. Else, could be fun. Everybody could be enjoying it. Um, this one is a six by eight inch page, and I'm just gonna pre-color a little bit, just because I know what project we're gonna work on a project. So I've already prepared this. So I just wanted to give a little bit of color on there. Set that aside to dry. Again, I'm just mishap just coloring this. When you're using the airbrush gun, make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. You know, don't uh, inhale this ink. It's not good for you. And I don't recommend it. So, um, I think that is all that I needed to color with that. With the ink. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this and uh, take my gun and I'm going to set it off to the side here. And let's do, let's set that aside. Let me set my splatter box aside here. And then I'm going to take my glass here. And uh, just for the purpose of not contaminating colors, I'm going to go wipe my, clean my hands here. This is just a Clorox wipe or a baby wipe that I'm using. Not a Clorox wipe, baby wipe. I'm just going to clean my hands a little bit just to get the ink off of there. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to prepare some uh, some things that I've already cut here. Um, this die set is the... What did I do with it? I knew I just had it. Oh, here it is. The dog die set, which is 1667 that we'll be using. And the Halloween accessories, which is 1707 that we'll be using today. I was using... I love this glass mat, and if you don't have the glass mat... Uh, for your crafting room, whatever kind of glass mat it is, uh, you absolutely do need it. Uh, don't let anybody say anything different. You do need the glass mat because the glass mat is just so phenomenal when it comes to coloring and doing things. I'm going to find my uh, silver, uh, my um, nocturne, which is a black, and uh, I'm going to take that to color my witch's kettle here. So, there's that. My witch's kettle's color. And then I'm going to find my green, wherever that is. This is verdant. The color of the slime, or the ooze that's coming out of it. So there's that. And just by going from the edge in, you can get some shading on there, as you can see. Uh... And then I know I have some extra inks on some of these, so I'm not even going to grab some more ink, but I'm going to do that, color that, and then I need a dark blue, where is that color? I don't, I didn't have it ready. This is the problem with, uh, you know, being too crafty sometimes. Okay, that color is not there, so I don't know what I do with it. Let's see here. Aha, of course, that's the last one that I, I didn't look for. So let's see. This one is going to be Twilight, and that's going to be the cape. So... As you can see how my coloring techniques, I've just been pretty simple with this. There's that. And now you have a shade of color on there. So there's that. Set this aside. I'm going to take my baby wipe here and uh, wipe a little bit off of there. As you can see how easy that was to clean. I'm going to take my red. Color the mask. Take the this as the red collar. And there's that. Take the yellow for the medallion. And 
So there's that. And then take my baby wipe here and clean my glass mat. All of my pieces are colored. There we go. So next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble. So let me um, take a moment to show you what how cool these uh, Yosette dies are because here's a monster that I use the gnome to turn into a Christmas elf. There's that monster that I've done that. Here's another monster with the pirate. I took the gnome and added the Halloween accessories to it and got a little witch elf here. I took the gnome and made a pirate witch kind of thing flying on a, a broom. I took that monster again and made a pirate. Same, same design here, but one was a witch and one's a pirate. I took the beaver and I made him into a witch brewing some sort of concoction there. I took, uh, you know, here's the, here's the sheep. I took the sheep and I turned him into a vampire, Count Dracula. Look how cool that is, that little piece is. Um, I took uh, the pig and turned the pig into a pirate, the farm, far, the farm animals. Thank you, Sue, for letting me know about that, the sound. Let's see here, I think I'm gonna go back and look. The accessory sets are the best. You are correct, Linda. So there's so many things that you can do. So we're gonna make a new character. We're gonna make the dog here, and then uh, we'll get into some Halloween fun folding uh, projects. But you can see what how versatile the uh, accessory sets are with all of Yosette's uh, creatures, not just one. So, um, the witch and the pirate monster. Yep, there's the Christmas one using the gnome pieces, as you can tell there. Uh, these are, uh, you know, here's here's Count Dracula as a, a sheep amongst, the, you know, that's how cool these pieces are. So I'm going to set these aside, and uh, we'll be going back to that one here in a little bit and use that. So I'm going to pull my glue out, and I have a um, one of those Line Co. pH neutral uh, glue bottles that I've been using. Uh, check with your local stores for this, these bottles, uh, because they are great. I, they fit in my hands very nicely, and uh, I just love the way that they feel. So let me uh, start off with this. I'm going to take some glue and uh, start by putting it on the, the dog here. I want him to be kind of looking off to the side here or tilting his head a little bit. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to bring in my Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, fine, ne uh, fine um, needle nose tweezers here just because it makes life so much easier. Uh, I'm going to put the doggy ears in there. Is the other ear. Uh -huh. I don't think I thought this one through very well because uh, I don't think this mask fits. Oh yes it does. So there's that. Mask there. I'm gonna throw um, a piece of glue on here just for the tail. There's some paws on here. As you can see, I'm not using much glue, just the dot here and there, just because it's so easy to put together like that. There's a dot there. there um, and then one more paw there it is Get there Get there and I'm gonna 
gonna stick the spoon inside of here. I'm gonna stick this here. So there's that. Give the dog a cape here first. So. Give him a little bit of a cape. Give him a paw here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glue on the back of his paw there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put glue there. And there you go. Now we have another Halloween creature to play with. So, um, now time for the fun part. This is the, the part that uh, I initially wanted to do with you today uh, before, but I also wanted to take a moment to show you, use your airbrush guns, use any tools that you have in your stash because it makes just life a lot easier. It makes fun for coloring. I'm gonna bring my splatter box in just for a little bit here because what I wanna do is I also wanna add a little bit of Tim Holtz's uh, Distress, this is uh, the mica stain. This is a, this is an empty tomb from them. Like, comment, and share. Make sure you do put in your comments uh, that you have done that, just for your chance to win the $50 gift card. So I'm just shaking up that bottle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly spray over the top of that. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with um, my spider webs. Look how cool that is. Now it has a glimmer effect to it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to bring it up closer. You see, there's a glimmer effect to the witches now and the scarecrow. See that? You can see that. So, I'm going to get this and I'm going to do the same thing with the two spider webs. Should be fine. So, there's that. Set that aside. My uh, Clorox wipe here just to clean my hands. And then I'll take this out. Set aside my splat box. And just because the soft finish cardstock, uh, no, the um, release sheet for the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, paper has the ink on it. What I like to do is I'll just take a piece of paper here You can either use a paper towel or you can use um, another cardstock to retrieve all that ink But in this particular case, I'm just going to use a paper towel uh, Because I'm not planning on reusing that and I know it sounds bad But I wasn't planning on reusing that ink because I wanted something else for my next project So that's why I'm doing it that way just to take a little bit of that off and save your hands from um, damaging your cardstock so, let's see. Now moving on to the promised project of the day. What you'll need to do is you'll need to take Elizabeth Craft Design soft finished cardstock and you're going to cut it into two pieces. You're going to cut two pieces. Um, each piece is going to be a uh, six inches by eight inches, six by eight, and you're going to score it from the left at the one inch line and the two inch line. So I'm going to take the my scoreboard and I'm going to take a place down here and take a scoring tool and score it at one inch and at two inch. Don't worry, all these measurements will be in the comments or afterwards and it will be posted with the video, uh, this video afterwards. So don't worry, one and two. So you're in the six inches right here high and eight inches wide. Um, I will put the measurements for uh, the centimeters also in the comments after I uh, am done with the live today. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a piece of, this piece of paper, which is two inches by three inches. And what I'm gonna do is on my glass board here, you can see there's four cubes per inch. What I do is I lay it sideways and I mark one line here at the three inch, at the three strike here, and I'll turn it sideways and I'm gonna lay it right flat in that cube and I'm gonna do the same three. I'm gonna draw a line, I'm gonna mat, connect those dots just to give the little piece of a corner here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And then um, what I'll do is I'll take it to my my uh, 
squirting board and I will draw a line or a score down that line so it's easy fold. I'll get the measurements here as soon as um, the live is over. So that's all you need. That's no, di no other tools that you'll need today. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun and create some, uh, this project here. So what you take is take one of the pieces that you already have and you'll fold um, with the color side up, fold it down at the, the second inch line and then fold it backwards with the first inch line. So you're creating a Z, which is a mountain fold and a valley fold, as you can see there. Mountain fold and a valley fold. And once that's all done, you know, kind of work it down a little bit. Same thing here. You'll do a mountain fold and a valley fold. You're gonna do a wiper card. Yes, I am. I am doing a wiper card. And we're gonna play with Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, for that. And I'm gonna add some glue here. You can use um, tape or you can use a um, liquid glue. I like to use liquid glue just because it's easier to to uh, maneuver and line up. So Anya is here. Thank you so much, Anya, for posting all those um, the items that I'm using today. That helps a lot. Does the glue come from that tip? Will fit in other glue, other glue too. Does the glue come from that tip? It should. Um, this is just a 18, it's, this is called an 18 gauge uh, glue tip. And um, I got this from Joyce actually, from BoQ Creations uh, in Florida. So, and so it should fit. I'm gonna just place some more glue here. Color the, uh, and glue this. Thank you, Anya, for again helping me with those comments uh, because um, the products are available at Elizabeth Craft Designs, and uh, that would be great for uh, if you want to check that out make those purchases. So there, now you have a six by six card. Let's see. Um, how do you clean out your spray device so that others don't just by spraying another color? Uh, Sue, to answer your question, what I do is I spray out all the entire ink and I just put some water into uh, my airbrush gun and just spray it. Just spray clean water and it goes through and it cleans it out. If you're using alcohol inks, you have to use an alcohol base. So you can use isopropanol for that. And uh, that should be not a problem. Um, so you'll take this piece and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it backwards and I'm gonna fold it forward just to get a little bit of a shape here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this, I think I'm doing this backwards here. Let me think this through here. This has to go here, correct. Okay, so I'm, this has to go there. So this bottom um, triangle, I already folded there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to place a glue here into that tip. And I'm gonna, if you look at the way that this card is set here, where the Z fold is on this side, you have the flat side here and you have one that comes up. I'm gonna take the panel and I'm gonna line it up right about the same edge. Line it up like that. So you can see. See how it's lined up? It's gonna be gluing to the second panel here. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking back at the comments while this glue is setting here. Let's see if this makes sense. Yep, there it goes. So that, that let it, we have to let it set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this exactly upside down and I have to, you remember that since I have the glue on the up, up side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do it on the bottom side. And uh, well, this is a new way of doing it. Be, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and place it on the bottom right. And I'm gonna add glue to this. And then we're gonna flip this over. Because remember how this is sitting is that this requires 
to be glued to that second panel. And um, if anybody's asking on how deep I'm going in, it doesn't matter um, how deep I'm going in. It just, what matters is that that triangle that uh, was glued there cannot be above the outside of the card. That's all that matters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that. And there we go. We have a six by six. We have two pop-ups, two pop-ups here. See how easy and neat that is? What we'll do is we'll do this. Two wiper cards, as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a piece of gold and I'm gonna take my glue runner here. This is just, and of course, just in time. So, resort to the next best thing. I have uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs tape, double-sided adhesive, because my glue gun, my ATC glue runner, just ran out. How convenient is that? It was meant to be. That's what I should say. It was meant to be. I was meaning to use Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, double-sided adhesive. So where is my tweezers? That's a lot easier. Take that, do that. And I'm gonna line this up because I've already uh, pre-measured that. Just the, th the way that Els taught me how to do this was if you look on your cutter here, this is a Tim Holtz cutter. If you look on your cutter, whatever the size of the paper is, say it's at this four inch here, your inner layer, the inner layer should be three tick marks. Um, if it's three tick marks in, uh, you can, um, that's the perfect for all around. So all around perfect, three tick marks. And still size this, see, so there you go. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take another piece here and uh, I'm gonna place this down. Those things always happen and it's not inconvenient. So there's that. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna place this right on top of the gold to mirror out that gold a little bit. There we go. Now we have a uh, design there. I'm gonna bring my witches in because, and see what, what happens. So when you um, put this together, remember that this edge here along the edge, what you wanna do is you wanna be careful with that. So what I'll do is I will place her, um, if you, close this uh, this uh, die, what you're gonna see is you wanna see how much room do you have. I have about half an inch or a quarter of an inch from the edge, as you can see, about a quarter of an inch there um, from the edge, from the side of that panel. And so what I wanna do is I have to be very careful on how I place her onto this wiper. So I'm gonna put some glue here. do this so I'm just gonna place her right closer to the edge here there we go there's the witch popping out and then, uh, of course I made two witches just because I wanted her companion to also be there this together here that shouldn't be a problem that is going to be a problem so let's uh, readjust just a tad bit yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that a little bit here 
get a little bit of glue here. Uh, most of my cards are experimental, uh, so when I'm playing with this, I um, have to experiment. I'm experimenting with you. That's just a tad bit, so I'm going to take my pair of scissors here, and I'm going to cut off that tip just a tad there. So I'm going to take my pair of scissors again, and I'll trim that up there. Shape that wiper in a moon. Yes, Femka, I'm planning on doing that. I'm planning on shaping it into a moon. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to have to fix that so that it uh, goes in because I've noticed that when I'm playing with this wiper, you see, this, um, this last piece here is not strong enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to die cut some more extra brooms and uh, place some more of that broom into the card just so that it doesn't do this, as you can see what it's doing, is that it's folding here and it's um, breaking that broom. So, while I'm thinking about that, let's do that now. I'm gonna take that die, this die here from um, the Halloween Planner Essential page. Again, that's number 1903, Planner Essential, Halloween set three. And uh, I'm gonna take a piece of paper here get my die cut machine. I'm using the Sizzix switch, so it's a little bit more clumsy in some sense. It's a little bit bigger, but it is. And I'm not using a whole entire witch, so I just need the broom. So that's why I'm just gonna cut that real quick here. The card size is a six by six. Uh, six by six inches by six inches uh, and uh, see I'm gonna cut that piece and then what I'll do is I'm gonna cut another one just in case uh, because again I want to make that broom piece as strong as I possibly can with the fact that it's spinning so give me a quick second here to finish Yeah, I, uh, when I was coming up with the idea of this card and this preliminary idea, I never, I didn't experiment with it beforehand. So by not experimenting beforehand, this is the problem that you run into. Run into little issues and unexpected issues and you just have to play along. So I'm going to take my Elizabeth Craft Designs needle scissors here and I'm going to cut off the pieces that I think that was causing issues which is that broomstick and the back of this. I'll cut that off. And here's where the glue comes into handy. This uh, fine tip glue here, um, I can put a little bit of glue on there as on the tip. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this on the back here. Oh, sorry, I'm off screen. Place that there, and then I might place another one. Uh, just do two, just because it's um, just to be safe. And, uh, I think that's how I'm just gonna fix it. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to cut a little bit more into there. more into that um, the rear of the, the witch here just to give it a little bit more strength I'm gonna turn this over so we can see it what I'm gonna do is as I did that it strengthens that stick there so there we go that works and then I'm gonna do the same thing, flip this over here on the back side. Let's see where this uh, that break is. I'm gonna go a little bit further to keep that break from breaking. It doesn't matter because you're hiding it anyways. 
You're not going to see that. Put two pieces back to back there. There we go. It fixed it. See how it fixed it? There we go. Now it works. Perfect. It, it works. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this other piece, this web that I was using uh, earlier, and I'm just gonna place it right into this uh, corner here. Place some webs there. I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna take some foam dots that I have here. Place some foam dots on the back of him. Hi, Julie. You can't believe you finally caught a live show. That's great. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place him at a 3D here. And then what I'll do is I'll add the little pup here. The little pup is just sitting here off to the side and he's kind of floating a little bit. So um, I'm not going to, then I won't use him. Uh, let's see, since this is Halloween, let's, uh, let's try using Vampire. Let's, no, let's use Mr. Piggy. Mr. Piggy sounds fun. Mr. Piggy sounds fun. Take some more foam dots here. And, um, Mr. Piggy in there. I'm going to take uh, a Halloween stamp. Um, this stamp set is a Halloween Vibes um, CS250 or I don't, this is also from the Halloween stamp set here. Let's see, I'm going to do, sorry I've been a little witchy, sounds Cool. Take my uh, clear block here. I'm gonna take my little brush, that uh, my little powder brush here, just to make that all good without any stickies, so that I can heat emboss. Place that there. Using Versa. Uh, Versa mark there. That's what I'm using. I'm gonna place this right up here. I don't think that went all the way through. Did it? I don't think that went all the way through. So, how do I fix that? I take a piece of baby wipe here and I wipe that off. And then I take a piece of, I take my brush and I rebrush it with ink because all of this dries really easily. Especially with that um, airbrush ink, it doesn't uh, cause any issues, especially um, when you're working with something like this where you don't want to, um, the oxides, you know, oxides react to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry this up just a little bit because that wet wipe was just a little tad white and bright. So I'm just gonna dry that. A lot of mistakes today. I didn't know that. That I made. Sheesh. Sheesh, how am I doing this? And, uh, you know what? That kinda looks pretty cool. I don't even need to wipe, emboss it. Look how cool that looks. And then I'll take that powder again and wipe that in there. I might take a, 
Right. Sorry, I've been a little witchy. That looks kind of cool. At a, it's real life. <laughs> Mistakes. That's what I've been making. So, this is that. And uh, let me add a crow to the wizard's hat here. Or let's add him to this stick. Yeah, let's add him to that stick. And I'm gonna take a, a piece of foam down here. I'm gonna cut it to size because I don't need the full piece. So let's do this. I'm gonna place this right on his little stick here. Alrighty. And then um, I'll save this for next project that I have already in mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take another piece of another stamp here, which is that pumpkin probably. Or I have some... Uh, no, what I need is I need to do put some dots in there. So I'm going to pull from my stash here. I have some gems that are uh, simple, but they're white, uh, clear gems. Uh, check with your local stores for these gems. This is just from my stash because uh, these gems add a little nice touch to, to any project, actually. So I'm going to add a couple here, maybe here, add one there, one there. As you can see, I'm just adding glue in random places. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. And that's what the fun part of this uh, crafting does, right? I know I have a, um, I do have a uh, gem picker, but I do like using the Elizabeth Craft Designs glitter. So if you're squealing, sitting there on your chair, wondering why am I making my life so difficult by not using a gem picker, uh, I will listen to you. that so I don't lose any of that and put it back in my bin here and uh, now we've created and what you can do is you can put put them in the web as dewdrops yep and the the size of the pieces is a six by two card and uh, what I've done is I just uh, folded it and so you can see how uh, it's become a, um, a double wiper card. And now you can see how this works. So when you pull it out, you have two witches flying. Uh, sorry, I've been a little witchy and he's just a friend. So there's, there's that. I just love the way this card turned out. And I will post uh, the finished product and the video onto Elizabeth Craft Design's family page here in a little while. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. Um, Use the tools that you have. Contact your local stores um, for any projects that you may need. Ooh, I forgot. I found a spider. I found a little spider. What? I don't know what collection this is from. I'm just going to use it because I don't know what collection. And I'm going to add that spider right there. Perfect. Now we have a spider. So... Is that and I am uh, I'm gonna bring these little characters back in because what I want you to do is I want you to pull out your Halloween set and start making monsters start making things that uh, go, don't go they're not designed for each other but there's a mixing and matching feature to it you know and uh, tune in again for another video I uh, Hope to be back with you soon. I'm not sure when that is, but uh, most definitely Elizabeth Craft Designs um, 
Let me see if I can turn this camera around. But yeah, Elizabeth Craft Designs on Wednesday with Esther. She will have a new release for you. So let's see here. There we go. All righty. So again, thank you so much for being with me today. Um, I am happy to be back and it's been such a long time. And I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. And uh, I think that is going to be it for today. Um, check out your local stores. Check out Elizabeth Craft Designs. Check out the items. These pictures and these dimensions will be available on Facebook and Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, ooh, pre-Ian. I know there's a hurricane, so please be safe out there. And uh, if you... Um, Tune in on Wednesday with Esther. She will have a new release for you. So um, I look forward to joining you again. And bye-bye. Uh,